mic is hot. It's hot. Welcome to WWE. I'm just, I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. You know what really pisses me off as I get older is how the fuck do we humans think we have the audacity of knowing what the fuck dinosaurs sounded like? And the older I get, I'm just like, nah, bruh. No way. This shit has to be on some Santa Claus level because I don't believe it. I mean, I see the fossils. I believe that there once was giants, but to know what they sounded like, <laughs> y'all niggas got audacity anyway welcome back to she gets it pod this is episode 18 i want to talk about tiktok x i know x was so december of 2022 but i want to talk about tiktok x because i'm not in a relationship and i don't want to talk about x about a relationship i am not in because that's dumb um how are you how's your monday great welcome to may okay this is the last month of this season um next season will start in my 36th year <laughs> maybe that sounded like a dinosaur ho who knows we'll never know <laughs> um i know the x was heavy in december right there are so many platforms we use on a daily right today i want to talk about tiktok some shit that gets on my nerves with tiktok and that's the definition of an ick shit that gets on your nerves okay i want to talk about it and i want to drop some tips you can cuss on that app but you cannot say certain words on that app you cannot say mean things and comments to people on that app or they'll report you you cannot have a picture of you pregnant with the idea that your boobies might be showing on that app or they will pick it up in a video or a picture of a picture of a picture that you have on your wall and be like, is there any nudity in this? Bitch, how did you see that small picture in the frame to the left underneath my sofa? But yeah, AI is a motherfucker and TikTok is going to pick it up and they are going to pull your shit down. And I had a bodysuit that was going around TikTok and I wanted to show how it fit and it fit really great. But TikTok will not allow me to post it up. Why? Because I have a loud nipples that you kind of see an indentation on the bodysuit. So they told me, this cannot be put up. You are in violation of code. <laughs> they have so many fucking codes of violations. But anyway. Everybody other than black be damn near butt ass naked and allowed to be on this app. Anybody other than black is allowed to have microaggressions as long as you ain't black. Welcome to TikTok let's talk about these icks because it's bothering me like a fucking itch you ever be thinking and then you be thinking and then it's a thought and then it's a thought and it's just stuck uh, yeah this is it i'm gonna tell you the world is going crazy it's so crazy people are running across highways what I do. I never want to get to the point where I want to live a quiet a life of crime so bad that I will run across a highway and crash a Porsche. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Like absolutely not. All right. So let's get into these thoughts. Um, TikTok. TikTok is an amazing app to teach and share quickly and do crazy numbers for attention and um just awareness but i have a question for the people that just get on there and post selfies why do you think your selfies is enough post your artwork post um you know some tips that people can learn from post a different lifestyle on the other side of this planet that can kill ignorance 
post honest thoughts stop wanting the wrong attention because you don't want to do your work and that's a lot of the cons that are on tiktok is a lot of people crying for attention that really don't have a real problem a lot of people uh, making fake fake skits of drama so they can do numbers so other people could be nosy because their lives are so miserable and a lot of y'all need to monetize with your living community and not on tiktok and when I say that, I say this, there's a lot of great leaders that show up week after week after week with the best talks I've ever seen, better than what's been on television when we had Sally and Ricky Lake, okay, and Oprah, okay, the best talks, the best um, gems dropped, but you're not growing off of this platform, you're not uh, taking your words and your work elsewhere to have like a foundational space of all you represent and what your purpose is and I think when you have something so great and you're so great at something that you do on a given and you just go on TikTok with it and that's all you do you don't do anything else with it you don't build a real life uh, neighborhood community of people who are on the same shit you lose And so there's a lot of people winning on TikTok, but losing in life. And I feel like those that have true leadership, please find a way to get out in the actual physical, tangible community and not just TikTok because so many people need those words of encouragement, guidance, and um, know that there's someone out there that actually gives a fuck. All right. And those are my thoughts. Let's get into these icks. Icky, icky, icky. Ooh, ooh. Hey there, if you have a product or something to inform the people about and you would like to go ahead and run an ad on She Gets It Podcast, let me know. Email me at shegetsitpod at gmail.com so we can set this thing up. This spot right here can be for you. It's my time. Rick and Ross. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying the show. My name is Shan, y'all already know. And if you don't know, you're catching the show right here. Welcome, this is She Gets a Pod. And She Gets a Pod also has a She Gets a Shop, a Teespring. Check it out. Shanbypod.com. Back to show. I'm still learning my Mac. And I love and hate that. I hate how Apple forces you to figure it out yourself. Kind of like when you were younger and you had long division for homework. And your parents told you to go to the table and figure it out for yourself. Try it. And then if you need help after you tried it, I'll come over there. But I'm not going to do it for you. What? That is the epitome of Mac. Mac is going to force you to to figure out the shortcuts. Force you to figure out how shit works without fucking directions. And if you want fucking directions, bitch, you better Google it or go on Safari. That's, that's Mac for you. All right? All right, so let's get into these TikTok icks. On TikTok, let's get into the home screen and how they fucked up the home screen. They have home at the bottom, friends, a plus sign in the middle for when you want to post a story or a actual post to go on your page. Inbox, it's like DMs in your profile, basically your picture, your link, um, and what your page looks like to other people and who's following you, who you're following. That's what that shows, right? Number one ick about this shit is we do not give a fuck about the friend section on the homepage. That's dumb. Please put it back to like the um, Explorer page. I think that's what it was before. We need that. Shuffle this shit. Like I'm not trying to see the people that are following me. I'm not trying to see the people that I'm friends with because... I already know what they on. I saw them on another app. I want to see some new shit. Change that shit. Number two, stop limiting how much people can write on a post or comment. That's dumb. Um, Number three, we do not want to keep tapping the screen so it won't dim when we're making videos. That is the most annoying, stupidest shit. Fix that. Uh, Number four, Y'all got to do better with the spam TikTokers. They are annoying. 
I, which one is worse the spam tiktokers or the um nasty girls that saying see me hot wet on instagram which one is worse i think the ones on instagrams are a bit more extreme they they get you like five times under the same user with different pages crazy hackers um but i would say ig is worse but a lot of people will not have the large following that they have if they really went through their followers and found tiktok tiktoker as a name delete those shits um fake pages that got like girls pictures on it or someone's grandma with no posts no likes they're just sitting on there following like four thousand people that's spam delete that shit and let me just say this i don't think i put it on here as an ick but it is an ick for me people that get on that app and don't post shit but want to like and comment and follow you what are you following me for i don't know i don't know what you are i don't know what you on i don't know what your purpose is on this app and i don't know you so no i'm not gonna let you follow me because when you follow me i allow you to see some of my kids posts when i post with them and if I don't know you like that, you have no pose and we never spoke on any other app. No, I'm gonna let you sit there. You could follow me, but I'm not following you back. Okay. Um, number five, people crying on any app irritates my soul, but people on TikTok be going in and it's so annoying and exhausting. Number six, the way people be pushing um me to shop on tiktok i don't i'm not rich i'm not rich stop encouraging me to shop on tiktok stop encouraging me to go to amazon and find certain shit that i do not need the last thing that i found on amazon that i did not need that i bought because i saw on tiktok is a clear um plastic water bottle container that i don't even know where it is where is that fucking water bottle and it comes with the straw and all types of shit i didn't need it but i bought it tiktok made me do it number seven those perfume sponsored ads are a little much everybody ain't trying to have a roll-on um perfume that they can't smell in real life unless you mail it to them that's the dumbest shit chill on that everybody doesn't have to do promo for you and we know they don't like the perfume because of the way they do the promo <laughs> we're not them number eight if you ain't inspiring or making me deep think or making me laugh you're a waste of space on tiktok sorry to tell you but i told you number nine nasty ass homes doing tutorials yuck that needs to be a violation tiktok make that a violation if your home is nasty if it looks like um you're on the level of a hoarder and you should see psych psychiatric help or therapy i need you not to post that um visual of a nasty house or room that you have thank you bye um number 10 i love the clean homes and decor apartments on tiktok but y'all men who be cleaning shit that's already clean are fucking annoying because we see the fact that your counter is already pre-cleaned before you fake cleaned it and you're just moving shit around for the sake of making a video and you look stupid it's giving dry dick energy just want to let you know um number 11 everyone's aesthetic doesn't have to be the same okay be okay with your shit if your house doesn't look like everybody else's house on social media cool i like that i like houses with character i like houses that look lived in i like homes that have real pictures on the wall in a tasteful way of their family i like big artwork i like small artwork i like um real wood furniture i like interesting chairs i like open spaces i love big windows i love a house with or apartment with good lighting like all of that shit is amazing i love to see what people have in their fridge because i'm nosy i really don't give a fuck about your super organized pantry that's dumb um what else do i like 
I like seeing people's bathrooms. I want to see the tile. I want to see it clean. I want to see your sink. I want to see your tub. And if you have a standalone tub, ooh, wee. I love standalone tubs. It's so amazing to me. Um, Number 12, I love Cordy Le Gibson. Is that how you say his name? I'm not sure. K O R D Y L E G I B S O N. Ta da! That page, people who share tips, love it. People who share restaurants and recipes, love you. Um, and People who share must know adult shit. Thank you. Okay. At Amanda Lawson Lamb. Lawson Glam. <laughs> I had to get that out. <laughs> Amanda Lawson. Why am I fucking this up? Because it's jumbled together. Amanda at Amanda Lawson glam that's what it is let me tell you something writing words that are separate but jumbled together because it's a at <sighs> listen sweat me at sweat me at um number 13 i do not want to see another narcissist video deal with your shit everybody can be a narcissist i need the world to find a new word number 14 people who get on the app screaming for help but addicted to attention that they do not need go get some help and number 15 hold on my ears itching oh my god why is the ear itch so uh amazing is better than my last session uh oh my god oh jesus yes you know the lord really made your hands the right size to go into your ear or your holes on your body if anybody else tried to do it they probably going to get so far you wouldn't get far ah far <laughs> for real i just noticed that um in january i was like damn the lord really did make my fingers big enough to go in my holes um <laughs> that sounded wild but you you feel me though do you feel me if i let you um number 15 people who coupled up forcing candid moments for an image y'all are so fucking corny and lame and i don't care um out of the five relationships i had i probably only took pictures with four of them and probably only have four to six fucking pictures with them on purpose because if i'm with you why the fuck do i need to see pictures of us all the fucking time and granted i have never live with a man i really don't want to have to live with a man but if i do have to live with a man i don't think i'm trying to see him every day of the week um i would love for him to be a traveling man and when he coming into town i could get really excited but i want him to be so busy that he doesn't notice that i love the fact that he's busy so i don't have to be around him not because he did something wrong but because i need my space Now, that sounds problematic, but it's really not. I'm just looking for a man who understands my needs, okay? Um, but that was my TikTok X. Thank you for um, checking out She Gets a Pod. My name is Shan, and thank you for following the podcast. And if you're not following, get following me, okay? You can follow me on Good Pods. You can follow me on iHeartRadio. You can find me at shambypodden.com. Don't forget to like, share, and review the podcast. I want to know what y'all think. And if y'all don't like it and it stinks, I want to know in a review. I appreciate it. All reviews are welcome. I want you to be honest. I'm not just saying that. I think honesty helps people grow. And if you're not honest, what the fuck are we living for? What 
are we living for? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Shout out to the pod fam. I want y'all to be great and I want y'all to enjoy this month, okay? It's the first of the month. Wake up, wake up, wake up, catch it, check it, get up. Happy birthday to Rich. Triple Rich. He know who he is. He look like he could be my child's father. The my oldest child and I, the way I be looking at them and how like identical they look like they're a family. And I am the outsider. 